Hi everyone and thank you so much for following my tutorial so far. So in this step of the video I'll show you how to do animation in Flash. Before I get started you have to remember that there's two ways to animate in Flash. The first one is called frame by frame and the other one is called tweening. For example given here if I wanted to move box A to reach box B in terms of the frame by frame animation I would actually have to draw every single step of the way until it reaches point B. As for twinning animation, it's much more simple. I would just have to tell the program where box is at point A and where I want it to reach at point B. And then once I hit the twinning button, it will actually automatically draw in the in-betweens for you until it reaches B. And so it's basically a frame by frame version, but done automatically. The first example I'll give you here is how it works in frame by frame. So when you animate something like frame by frame, it looks something like something like that in, in terms of the layers. Uh, you have to draw individually all the boxes, as you can see, until it reaches B. So when you play the animation, this is how it will look like. And then the next example is how it looks like in tweening. I have a box here at point A, and then all I have to tell the program is where the box will be at point B. And then after hitting the twin button, and as I click enter, you can see everything is drawn automatically and it's much more smoother. At this point, you would probably like the twinning version of it better, uh, but you have to remember that frame by frame is as important as twinning, and also that you will be actually combining both. Okay, so you guys have finally reached a part where it gets exciting, where we actually learn how to animate in Flash. So once you've got the program open, why don't you click on the action script right here. I've actually created a reference for you that you could follow to make the frame by frame version of a bouncing ball. You simply have to download it from the link below. Once you've downloaded, you simply have to import it to stage. And to do that, just click on file, import to stage. And then just look at the file as for me, I've saved it on the desktop. It's called ball space reference. Once you've got that open, uh, just make the small size uh, the size of the file smaller so that it fits into the stage. Oops. There you go. All right. So as you can see, it automatically dragged into this layer. Let's just uh, lock it so we don't have to interfere with that. Let's call this reference, and of course we'll need to create a new layer, which will be the ball itself. Okay, so first and foremost, let's just um, analyze this uh, diagram for a bit. As you can see, it's obviously a bouncing ball. This is the highest peak of the ball, and this is the lowest. As you can also see, there's stretch and squeeze motion going on. You always have to remember to always maintain the volume to, effect, uh, to achieve realism. So this is divided into six frame from the top to bottom. Frame one is right here. This is two, three, four, five, and six. To achieve the full animation, it will be double that as it's going back up. Uh, it's simply a reverse of the first six frames as you can see here. So as it reaches the bottom, you go to five, four, three, two, and one as they are right here. All right, I hope that wasn't too complicated. I'll show you how to basically input that into Flash we'll be drawing the circles one by one, all right? So uh, once we've got the ball animation um, frame ready, uh, since it's six plus another six, 12, let's just go to the 12 frame. If you want to expand that up to 12 frame, have the frame selected and click F7. That basically expanded up to frame 12. We wanna do the same thing for the reference file. Let's hold F7. There you go. As you can see, it hasn't actually been up to frame 12. That's not a problem. You just have to click here, then drag it there. It will basically clone whatever animation was in there to here. If you wanted to make it a bit more clean, I suggest you click here, and then you drag that all the way there. All right, you just, you're just basically playing with the, uh, the layout here, just to make it simple. Oops, there you go. Okay, so now we're ready. All right, so first frame, 
we'll need to create a circle. If you had this the square here initially, you could hold that and click on oval. And then we'll make the the counter of the uh, circle a different color such as red. We'll keep the inside um, not filled in yet. So just hit the button right here. And now we're ready. So having the first frame selected, you could hold shift just so that the proportion is the same and then there you go so this is a circle on frame one now if you wanted to go to frame two you have to have frame one selected and hit f6 so that basically keeps the same the same object in the same place but it just divides the whole frame into two so now you've got two separate drawings so having the second one selected, highlight the object, move it down. Your transform tool is right here. You could also hit Q. Basically just uh, make it the same as it is in the diagram. Once again, click on that frame, F6, bring it down. Make sure to always maintain volume. All right, there we go. And just two more. Now it's finally hit the ground. It will squish, but it will also stretch. And then the last frame, F6 once again make it go down and stretch it so this is what it looks like so far all right it's basically hitting the ground then we'll do the opposite um what you could do at this point instead of redrawing everything you could copy that and then paste it there and then copy that one and paste it there but we'll just keep it simple and just go accordingly as the um, the layout right here so while we're at frame 6 we'll go to frame 7 at this point the ball is going back up so we'll just draw everything but backwards okay once again F6 this is up here Just uh, three more frames after that. F6, and switching height. F6 once again. Okay, now in whichever way you went about doing this, uh, it is highly important to always have the last frame and the first frame the exact same. Uh, so to achieve that, let's first of all uh, divide that and make our last frame here. So, so at frame 11, this is where it is, and at frame 12, this is where the ball should be. Let's just delete that. So as you can see, this is white because there's no drawings inside. Let's go to frame 1, highlight this right click copy or of course uh, control c if you're on on a, on a pc go to frame 12 this time don't click control v and simply paste it because this will paste it but at a different location it's better if you right click and you hit paste in paste in place uh, this way will paste it at the exact location that it was initially all right so as you can see now uh, as you scroll all the way back and you hit the enter button, the enter button, and um, you look at the animation, the ball basically is bouncing. And there we go. All right. If you wanted to see this without the reference, just uh, just hide the reference. See, you've got a bouncing ball. 
um, what I should have done initially, I should have actually added a floor. So why don't we just add um, an extra layer right in between this. If yours is not in between, you could of course drag it. You put the bottom or the middle, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, let's take the uh, line tool here. Let's give it a different color like blue. We'll just make this line right here. So. There we go. And of course, log the layer. Let's hide the old reference. There we go. So now we've only got, we only have the floor which follows us all the way through. And then we've got uh, the frame by frame version of the ball. Okay. So now, as I, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually click hand, enter and uh, watch the animation. And if you wanted to watch the loop version of it, what you have to do and you have to remember is to press control enter this way uh, it will show the animation and loop it as it's going on uh, let's just close this uh, it requires you to actually delete the reference as it will show and then let's control and enter this again and there you go see you've got a bouncing ball now for the next step if you wanted to make this animation better uh, what you could do is actually add um, timing throughout the animation. Uh, before we do that, let's save the file. Let's go on File, Save As, call it whatever you want. Let's just call it Ball 1 for now. Okay, just to ensure that your file is protected. Alright, so some sort of timing you could do to this uh, is, as you know, as the ball reaches the very top, it freezes over a bit. So what you could do is add an extra frame. So of course you hit F6 to do that and you could drag it here and uh, basically we have the last frame just the ball for it to hold up uh, at the top for a bit longer. And uh, since the reference uh, for the floor is not the same as a ball it will disappear so if you, you could just take this and drag it to there. Alright so now control enter again so as you can see the ball is actually holding on to a bit uh, longer at the very top there alright so there we go uh, you've got your first uh, frame by frame animation as you can see it's nothing complicated it's basically drawing a picture one by one but make sure to always maintain volume this is highly important alright so I hope you guys had fun making this animation unfortunately I did reach the maximum length for the YouTube video. I'll definitely make another one outlining the twinning version of a ball animation. Until then, please do subscribe and I will see you soon.